<sighs> Welcome back to another episode of <laughs> Let's Talk About Lego uh, with uh, Andrew from Brick Monarch and Brick Monarch Shop and Jason, myself, with uh, the Brick Stop and the Brick Stop um, Instagram page. Mostly, that's where I'm kind of hanging out these days. But uh, yeah, welcome everybody. We're going to be talking about, well, you, you see the thumbnail, so you know what's going on. Yeah. Black Falcons. Oh, yeah. Black Falcons. Oh, yeah. There we are. Big time. There we go. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're shooting off the hip right here. We're just jumping right into it before we know what's going on. We are. On. Um, two seconds before we go live, I'm realizing I left one set out that had a notable Black Falcon in it. So we will mention that. As He's probably, yeah, that Falcon, literally, literally two seconds, Andrew's telling me this, um, which I'm, you know, it's fine, I, I understand, but he, he uh, <laughs> it's probably the top, like, three or four most notable Falcons out there, yeah. <laughs> so we'll get yeah, into definitely. it, you guys can think about who we're talking about as we, we talk about the video, uh, as we move into the video, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun still, we're all good, we got everything else, so um yes yeah, so yeah, black uh, falcons black falcons started in 1984 yeah it's the longest running faction because it was the first one they brought back from the dead in like uh, the blacksmith shop in what was that 2000 2020 what 2020 21 man it's been so long ago now i don't I, know it was Listen, pre i didn't put i didn't put the years <laughs> in this because i just didn't want to yeah 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 um pre pre-pandemic i think so maybe maybe it was 20 20 or 19 2019 someone in the chat will help us out with that one but uh um, yeah you guys look it up yeah th so that and the creator the creator castle dropped falcons in for the first time in a long time so now they're considered the most the longest running faction indeed so, well let's uh, yeah. uh let's welcome everybody uh retro with a five pound donation thank you sir Ah, the yellow Tudor panel. It's a beaut. It is. Yep. Yes, we'll get first, into that for sure. <laughs> first set to uh first set to have that. Yes. Yes. Many thanks, uh Retro. Always dropping those donations. We appreciate it. Uh anyone else who's interested, you can always do that as well. That's turned on for you guys. Drop a like as well as you're watching if you enjoy the content. Welcome everyone. Uh Brett Builds, Jose, Adam, uh, Adam Ride, yeah. Mini Pig Collector, Mirko. Journal Tron, JB, Ardo, Peter N, Brickativity, Alternate Candidate. Thank you guys for joining. Kruger, uh, Chase Matty. Yeah. Minifig Collector. Oh, yeah. you said, sorry. I think I did that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Got a couple uh, subscribers to the channel in the chat as well, which is really cool. Um, that's with the little bricks by their names there. So that's a lot of fun. And we will be adding more. I know we keep saying this. We'll, we'll be we'll, we're working on stuff behind the scenes to add more content for you guys who are purchasing the the small subscriptions there. So yeah, so you guys yeah. know it's like literally nonstop all day every day yeah. for me. Anyway, I don't know how it is for Jason, but literally, it nonstop. was up until like two weeks ago. So and it's still now it's a different type of nonstop. Things have been shifting back and forth. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's pretty wild. Chase Maddie, uh, you want to pull that up real quick? Gifted one Brick Monarch membership. That's pretty awesome. That's the first time, the first gifted in our history here. So that's pretty cool. Thank you. Really appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, we're making history tonight. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, Black, uh, Black, Black Falcons. Um, I'm going to start off this whole thing real quick with a little bit of info on the guys just where the name kind of there, there was a lot of interesting stuff going on with the name originally so uh americans called it the black falcons first we were the ones that were kind of like yeah these are black falcon knights you know and then it, even i believe even before potentially there was a name on the set um and then in the uk there was a lot of different things going on with uh Eagle Knights, um, the Black Knights, even in some of their literature from the official Lego company, they they were calling them the Black Knights, um, which is very interesting. Uh, and then even Guardians of the Great Castles came up a couple times in different bits of magazine and literature from Lego too. So there was a lot of back and forth between who these guys were. Obviously, it's cemented very heavily and clearly now in history that these are the Black Falcons. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a bit of a rocky start for the naming of this faction early on. So, yeah, kind of well, the original the original uh, sigil on the shield doesn't look like an eagle. I know. Yeah, it, it honestly it, looks yeah. like a sparrow. 
That is actually fair. The sparrow doesn't look like a falcon either. <laughs> no, that's that's true. I think the closest one to the eagle would be that that Gen two. So yeah, the Gen right the there. Gen two looks looks like an eagle, and then the other yeah. one looks like it might be the head of a griffin. That's a fair point. That is much more of a griffin look than than a than a, a falcon or an eagle on that last yeah. shoe. So so we don't know. We're we're, we're lumping them all together. Mm -hmm. We like them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in some of my lore that I was working on, uh, having them be called the Black Knights early on and then having the Black Knights faction emerge. I like to think that maybe there was a civil war among Falcons and a, a new faction kind of was born out of that conflict. And you have the Black Knights splitting off to create the original Black Knights with the dragons, you know, from the original faction of the Falcons. So, yeah. again, that's just fun lore we can make up. That's not anything official, but... Just something to think about for sure. Um, but yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's jump into this. We got a lot of actually really cool stuff going on for this. Um, we're gonna talk about. I think. Do you want to kind of explain how you wanted to go over these guys? Because uh, you had said it's not just the the it's not just the Falcon sets. Yeah. Well, there, there's only it's... technically six Falcon sets that are part of the actual faction. Right. But then there's Falcons included in a lot of other sets along the way and then we've got the three in one and you know a few others obviously that have the falcons in them and yeah. i i've i've been calling the you know the original the blue and the yellow shield those are the falcons mm -hmm. gen one the 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 one on the left there is gen two and yeah. then gen three is what came out with the three in one in my I head like I mean, that's, that's how i have yeah. it listed on on the brick runner shop as well so yeah uh, I, just, I think I that works them separated yeah, on the t-shirts too i think i recall seeing yeah that. um yeah no that uh that makes sense to me unfortunately we only got one night for gen 2 <laughs> with, with a set that came with two of the shields and one night with, with the coolest combo. with the coolest barding ever made it is the it is i think it's the only yeah it's i was gonna say it's the only black barding i it might be i'm trying to think no i think there was one with a couple other sets but it is one of the coolest bardings ever made it's interesting it's unmarked there's no actual sigil on the bar no itself. yeah so it's it's the neutral one yeah that you so can you use could... for the raven knights or the bear knights or yep. whatever you want to use it for i have got some several. nice got some nice armor detailing printed on it for sure oh yeah uh retro space coach real quick uh I, he says, says uh i keep waiting for this fabulous and after hour special voice <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're uh <laughs> we're cooking some things up in the lab for sure <laughs> we're just we just got to find some time to actually do it. <laughs> um, a very expensive Gen 2 night. Yes, Jose, that is correct. He's not He's not cheap. He never was cheap. He came on like a, I believe, a $200 set. Yeah. Yeah. So even in, <coughs> whenever that was, 2000, uh, I'm shooting 2016, maybe 15. I think I think I paid like 350 for that about that was, five years ago. Yeah, which isn't terrible, but still, you know, it's a pricey. It's a big set, though. You got a lot of good stuff in it. Tons, oh, of yeah. tons of exclusive minifigs. Three hundred fifty dollar night, and you get a bunch of castle pieces with it. Yeah, there you go. That's how you look at it. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, but we'll get into him. I mean, we're kind of uh, we're gonna talking to talking about him earlier, and we have some uh, images and stuff we can look at. But um, uh, yeah, yeah. What about Paradisa? Oh, we did. Did we do that yet? Not in this format, I don't think. We will. We will. We might even split that into two. There's like 500 sets. So that could be a part one, part two. Oh, God. Our our lowest viewed video would be Paradisa. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll get a... And we'll, we'll split it into two, so we'll have two of our lowest viewed. No, I think... I don't know. There's a big Paradisa fan. Fan base, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Perhaps I like it. We talked about it on our IG days back in the the Instagram days. We we did. Yeah, we did. We did run through that at least once. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it again. I, I think it's worth talking about again. It's got a, a lot of nostalgia. And it's a good classic, a classic theme. But well, let's jump anyway. in here to these uh, sets. Obviously, the one that I had up when we uh, went live, yeah, is one of my favorites. Uh, the, the Castle Guard. I have two of those. Perfect. Yeah, you need minimum two. Yeah, I mean, I love that little set. It's very, it's one of those, it's one of those ones that's got, you know, I mean, it's white for the love yeah. of Christ. It's white with a red roof. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, it's one of those classic <laughs> castle feels, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. So and, it's a ten- and, it, and it comes with the yellow shield. Yeah. Yeah. Which didn't come in that, that many. Um, no. Yeah. So the white represent, I would assume the white represents like canvas on a tent. and Yeah. It's like a tent outposts. for sure. Yeah. It's a little it doesn't make outposts. sense that it's red though. Red and white. The top of the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> red and white tent for the Falcons. Yeah. They didn't have a whole lot. I think, is there one image with a Falcon Knight? They had a little tiny bit of red. I think some of their like, um, pants had the little red later on they had a little red on later on yeah but yeah it's a bizarre kind of choice for for the black falcons <laughs> even a yellow and gray or not gray that would look like stone but like a yellow and white would make more sense or even like yeah yellow and black i don't know yeah but uh i love this set i like the black feather that's a that's a tricky one to get a hold of it is I yeah three yeah yeah i might i, I don't even one. know if I might have one. I'm sure I have one, but I don't know that I've got many more. Um, it's a fun. It's a fun. Uh, it's a fun set. I like the name. It's a really good name, Castle yeah. Guard. It just it's sounds simple. cool. Yeah, yeah, and you can kind of get this idea that these guys are out. They're kind of like frontier, you know, patrol guys that are out there guarding things. <laughs> so I like that. <laughs> and then you have catapult. Yeah, catapult. <laughs> yep. Just just catapult with those those technic wheels. The technic wheels and the uh the what should be, I guess, a leather type shield, but it's gray. Any either way, I like them. Those are very those are very random in the releases. Technic- oh, the no, technic wheels or? no, the shield. Oh the, the shield shields. That, both, that both those guys got. Yeah, I love those shields. Um, in my yeah, uh, a, a few different ones carry those shields around. There's they kind of have sprinkled them through these old factions a little bit, hanging yeah. off the carts or like yeah, being moved around or on an armor or armor stand or something like that. Um, yeah, they're interesting shields. I like that the Falcons carry them; it gives them more variety. Although to be fair, they didn't really need it considering they had a double two different colors of shield, which was was pretty nice back then. So yeah, um. Also, also the lions, the lions did too. Right, yeah, I was just thinking about that guy. So, the 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 black knights were one of the got a little short. They got a little shafted for their decor. They only got the one. Well, I guess they got the ovoid shield though. So. Yeah, they got the ovoid shield and the plumes that were that were meant for them too. So, so that's why they didn't get a torso print or a variant on the color. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, this catapult. I like thinking like, like this catapult's a beast. Look how big it is. I mean, it's huge for the time. A lot of the catapults is, were yeah. really dinky. Yeah, so this is this is pretty nice. I mean, this is a good size, almost trebuchet sized for a classic scale. Yeah. Um and that big, I like the the use of parts use is really phenomenal here. Uh you can think of the gray wheels as big like iron shod wheels, and then you have the, the yeah. bucket from the uh the little dozers from Lego Town as the catapult so it shoots multiple shots in one throw yeah it doesn't look like it there but it's actually four studs wide yeah it's a beast this thing is this thing is nice of course you got the two the two minifigs and oh they loved just random colored flags yeah (laughs) they did they got green white blue i believe they have yellow (laughs) like is the only flag color they may not have flown was red Cause, cause yeah, I don't, think, I don't think they ever had the red. We'll, we'll we'll look closely and find out. Yeah, yeah. There's always these little like subtle things hiding in these old castle factions that sometimes mm-hmm. are hard to find. So Marty the Lego Party's in here. Hey, good to see you. He he's uh, close to me. He he's down in Oregon coast. Uh, he's come up a couple times. We've chatted. Uh, good to have him in the. That's good to cool. have him in the chat. So we got the Black Knight's treasure, and the battering ram. Yes. I believe Black Knight's treasure is the only set to come with a light gray chest. Yeah, I think so. Very difficult. Yeah. Very (laughs) difficult to acquire that. Yeah. The dark bluish gray, I think that's even current right now. That's not hard to find anymore. I don't have I don't have the light bluish gray or the light gray uh chest. I don't have Mm, one. I don't think I do either. So yeah. Yeah. This is a pretty pretty unique set just for that one piece. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, it's a it's a fun set. I like the uh, the yellow hitch for the horse there it matches the saddle, which is fun. But uh, it's just a cool, good color scheme. Again, 
it's interesting. They're kind of just experimenting with different colors. They got the white and red tent. Now they got a yellow and red cart. Like, it's kind of an interesting. It's all over the place. Things. Yeah, they're, they're fun. <laughs> they're fun Consist <laughs> consistently, the flag should have been blue and black. Period. On everything. Peter N says the infamous gray chest. LOL. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to, I was trying to find one of those about, I don't know, seven, eight years ago now, I guess. And I could only find one and it was like in Germany or something. Some guy had one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for the amount of just stupid random bulk stuff I have just like piled everywhere and semi sorted through, you'd think somewhere there would be one hiding, but I, I'm pretty sure I, if I had seen that, it would have been put into a Ziploc somewhere in a safe space. <laughs> and I don't think I have one. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, Jose, um, they do connect. Um, it would be nice to see the two Falcon castles plus the battering ram put together mm. in one. You know, um, you know, I had planned to do that, but like I'm very limited on time. And that's that would take quite a bit of time and effort Dig to put that together. Dig yeah, digging up all the parts and setting well, up I've the got them all parts. I'd have to build all three oh, sets yeah. and then set them set them together. Yeah, um, there's. I believe there are images online of people who've done it. It's just you just got to dig it up and find it. But still, very cool. Um, this is one of the only uses. I mean, there, I think there was only a few other sets that had the that weird little panel door that clipped oh. onto the two nubs, but it's in mm -hmm. black. It's a mm -hmm. black one, and the blue mm -hmm. one was the most popular. Yeah, in, in classic Lego, and this yeah. one's in black. So. At the time, I believe that is correct. However, in the Wild West sets, they came back in black. And they were a little easier to get a hold of after that. So, but for the time, yeah, the blue one was very common. Guarded in, I believe, has the blue one. Um, and uh, yeah, like I think a, so. There's a bunch. They did put a bunch on those little, um, those little, like, townhouses and stuff. From yeah. The city and town. The stable, stables and stuff like that, yeah. One of my favorites, and we might get a better shot of this door somewhere else, maybe not. But uh, it, my favorite, one of my favorite colors is transparent, the the clear ones. Oh yeah, they, they come on like a maybe like a gas station or some weird like shop, yeah, or a warehouse or something in Lego Town. But uh, they they come in clear, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was gonna try and pull up to see how many see how many sets that black one came in, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Never mind. We're moving on. <laughs> uh, PX Chris says uh, he's got that. He's got photos on of the layout on his Instagram. Perfect. Um, Check them out. The two castles with the battering ram wall look awesome. great all put together. Yeah. Yeah. So go check out PX Chris on Instagram. Uh, if that's not your handle, throw it in the comments. Do a little self promotion, and uh, people can follow you. Go get go get some shots of that. Uh, that would be fun to see. Yeah, and here's the two castles, Knight's Castle and Black Falcon's Fortress. Very cool. Um, yeah, so there's the green flags right there. Yeah, green and white. And then the... And then just blue. Yeah. And then the yellow flags hanging off the front. Which is <laughs> fine. <All over. laughs> it, it matches the yellow ar the arch and the yellow panel. So it consistently looks good. Uh, through the castle design it's just funny that it's just another color of flag they're throwing in there <clears throat> the the red on the front of knight's castle is kind of weird and it's interesting. I, yeah. I was lacking i was lacking the uh red arch pieces mm -hmm. to complete that set okay um, and i have them somewhere but they're nowhere near the set they're somewhere else in like <laughs> one of my older bins that hasn't been sure. sorted because <laughs> i get bricklink orders and just toss them in a bin you yeah. know, like you know, because I just I'd hoard parts and I'd just throw them in there and then go back to Same. them later. Same. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So these castles really nice, pretty standard little castles, but I I like that there's uh, actually quite a bit of variation between the two. Um, the six zero seven four Black Falcon's Fortress was, is and was and is the only printed flag they've ever had. Mm -hmm. Um. Bricklink designer programs have a couple stickers for them coming out, but it's not the same thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, people have even potentially argued that Bricklink designer sets aren't technically official Lego sets, which 
you could, could talk about that all day. But uh, yeah, so this is the only set with a printed flag, kind of like the is it the is it the armor shop, or is it the yeah. blacksmith? No, it's the armor shop. It comes okay. with the lion one. Yeah, so so yeah, it kind of sits in the same esteem to a certain extent of the, that lion flag. Uh, just the only two only came in one set each. <laughs> yeah, the knight's so. castle resembles the uh, king's castle uh, from the Lion Crusaders as their first big castle, right? Very, very. Where similar. you had low low walls up front with the you know the gate basically where the gate house would be is taller, mm -hmm. and then you got the two towers in the back. Yeah. But the difference between the two, the Black Falcon's Fortress is much cooler because it's got the tower and the like the living space in the back there up top, mm -hmm. but then it's got the high front with the rounded towers. Yeah, no, it's definitely got. It, it's just a better. It's a better castle dynamic, in my opinion. Yeah, I think for multiple reasons it's better. Um, like you were pointing out, uh, the walls are all higher, so it's more defensible. Mm -hmm. Those towers are much more beefy they've got those windows that you could shoot through so you could even be defended inside you don't have to be on top you know you can still shoot out so that's pretty yeah. nice the rounded corners make it look really cool like you said yeah. and uh yeah that living quarter lego had an issue with um really doing any kind of living quarters or rooms that weren't just a tower you know back then so having this kind of like this fun little it I mean, there's like zero detail inside for the most part but it's still yeah, nice pretty much zero <laughs> That's a fact. You yeah you don't really get you know uh the detail until uh what's uh the dungeon master's castle actually has like a little table with a little cup on it and like a couple little tiny sparse yeah. details so it's it's a three by three table with yeah. two gold cups. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> per the instructions, that's right. what goes in that back room. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's the one that I believe has a little drawbridge connected to it Yeah. on the back. And yeah, you yeah. have the little ramp that goes up into it. Um, the only other set, while we're talking about these yellow panels, that's the only other set to come with those panel pieces in yellow, the yellow tube. Yeah. So Yeah, so the yellow, the yellow Tudor wall and the red Tudor wall are both very, very rare. Either way. Yeah. Red Tudor was guarded in exclusive, I think. Yeah. It, and only, then, came in that, it only came in that set. There, there may have been an, a Lego education set that had a bulk, like, package that came with some or something at some point. It, I seem to recall that. But you know, as we're, if we're talking about, like, mass production, general, public, getting a hold of this, it is yeah. the guarded in. Yeah, for those. Conveniently, so. though, the guarded in and the Black Falcon's Fortress were both re-released as Legends. Yeah, in like 2000 or something like that. Yeah. I think it was 2000, around that time. Yeah, yeah, was yeah like, that's yeah. true. There were <laughs> there were a lot more sets released as Legends than I remembered. Um, a nice a nice chunk of them were re-released yeah. during that time. So it's good to Barracuda see that. Yeah, so... was one of them. Barracuda, yeah. I, I Barracuda, some Wild West stuff. Like, there was a bunch. There's, I, I think there was maybe even a train or two. I, I don't know. There was a lot. I'd have to go back and look, but there was a lot that came out. But you're right. That that upped the supply of these panels by a lot. Yeah. yeah. I can't yeah. imagine how hard they'd be if they were only from this Extremely time. Extremely hard to find. Yeah. In good yeah. condition, too. I mean, we're, <laughs> God, we're, yeah, talking, half of my, we're yeah. talking about 35-year-old parts, man. Yeah. Every single one's got some sort 36 of... 36-year-old parts, scratch. depending on the year here. Yep. No, you're right. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. <clears throat> uh, is the small blue flag uh, rare? The small blue oh. flag rare? Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, very if you rare. Have, if you have a few of them, <laughs> be happy, because they're not easy to get a hold of. There was a stickered one in in um, the... Uh, Castle in the Brooklyn. Forest. Yeah, Castle in the Forest. There's a sticker one, but... Again, I mean that's kind of rare too. You know, you can make that, your own. But that's but, not this one. That that has the newer print on it. Oh yeah, though that the new one. Yeah, it's got the it, new it's, Falcons. It's got yeah. the Gen Gen Three Falcon. Well, and the Forceman, and the Forceman shields from that Castle in the Forest are completely different. Completely different. Yeah. Yeah, they're like I think they were designed before people knew they were coming out with. I didn't. New I didn't even. I didn't even apply those stickers. I just left the stickers in the book. Then you could just. Well, yeah, you could just take a couple of the new the new Forestman shields and slap them on, and you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah, they're kind of an interesting variant, really odd looking shield actually. <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, yeah, the the blue shield, the blue flag is it's for some reason it's not it doesn't seem as rare as the crusaders flag and I don't know why because the crusaders flag came on a oh, yeah, now Only I one, do. one set. Only one set is cheaper set, but this got re-released like you said. Yeah. So we got a whole nother batch of flags when it got re-released. Yeah, the uh, the armor shop for the lions did not get re-released. I think I paid forty bucks for that red shield or that red uh, flag to complete that yeah. set. Yeah, I think I have two with broken clips. Mine don't have broken clips, and I you know I was only lacking that part mm -hmm. for that set. I even had the black sword. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I don't even know where it came from. I just <laughs> it showed up one day. That's a good point. You know, it's weird. It's that's the same with me. I have the black sword, <laughs> and I'm it's just one. I got one. <laughs> like they yeah, I've only got and one. I'm not sure where it came from either. <laughs> but uh, well, that was yeah. the that was the Falcons. Now, yes, moving moving forward, there are several other sets that some were released alongside these, and then some were released later on. So mm -hmm. we're gonna jump into them. Um, first set here, Castle Minifigs and Castle Figures, and then the Jousting Knights. Castle Figures was the one from 84, I believe. And the other two was like, I don't know, 86 and 89 or something like that. I'm not sure. Hmm. But they Castle were both featured. Figures. Yeah, they were both featured. So Yeah. yeah Castle Figures is a, a bit older, I believe um it's got yeah, that and what, what's funny about that is is the 6103 mm -hmm. um was actually carried over to another minifig set which is right here uh oh do we lose it no i just lost control i'm not oh, sure why oh. <laughs> okay well can everybody see us in the chat Hopefully they I, can. I see you. Yeah. I, it all looks good. There we go. It's back. There, there it went. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. The six <laughs> six one zero three. And see, this is the one that came with the peasant. Six one zero three. Oh, okay. Now coming coming back in here, um, it has a six one zero three here, but this was the first one that was released. Got it. So anyway, jousting nights. Yeah. Um, I love I love that night. It's it's one of the Falcons that's dressed in red, which is mm -hmm. odd. Um, it's the only one that's dressed in red. I think right? so. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, it's just like the classic printed breastplate, which was more used, I think, for the Black Knights. Yes. Yes. Um, well, Falcons had a fair sprinkling of the blue one. I think it was. They had a few. Yeah. Yeah, but the red on the Falcon with that yellow shield. I mean, the honestly, this color <clears throat> combo is looking real nice. Oh, yeah. Black, they look the red, the yellow. They look like Jousting Knights for yeah. Classic Castle, right? About oh, as good as it Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's a little more, like, decorative, a little more colorful. Like, these are, like, this is the Joust, like, yeah, the, the tournament style. A bit more style flamboyant. Of, I like it. Perfect word. Yes, more flamboyant. It's a tournament style of, or rendition of the, the Black Falcon Knight. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So he's he's a, a falcon of note. I would put him as one of the falcons of note. Like, yeah, for sure. Um, as far as one of the knights more more noteworthy to think about um, would be this guy here, Marty. Real quick, he says, "I found the blue printed flag in my cup hold, my car's cup holder, after nabbing parts from this set for my bricks cascade build last month." <laughs> Almost lost it then, huh? That's a that's a piece you don't want sitting in a cup holder. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. Holy you, moly! Get <laughs> a heavy cup down in there. No more clips. Set one of these these uh, these heavy uh, thermos thermos cups. What are these called? The just tumblers. Tumbler. Yeah, I was gonna say tumbler, but uh, yeah, dude. By the way, real quick, shout out to these. Uh, are these these are still on your shop? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We've only got a few left. Well, this keeps my coffee hot as heck. <laughs> There's a there's something thermal something in here because I'll tell you man I'll take my coffee out to the cold office or whatever and it's it's toasty the whole drink through so that's really nice but uh, 
anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. Peter in with a two dollar donation. Has anyone found uh, six one zero three sealed or with the box? Are you talking about the first one or the second one, Peter? He says it's his white whale. Like the um that's the black falcon maybe fortress. he's talking maybe no he's talk, i think he's talking about this one six one zero three. Oh, my bad <clears throat> sealed <laughs> or with the box uh, <laughs> i like this second version the castle minifigures um it's got two falcons two uh one lion one peasant and two horsemen mm. That's a really nice variety for sure. Uh, he's he's wanting the he's wanting the other one with the blue box. Uh oh. This one. Okay, castle figures. Castle Someone figures, just dropped. Yeah. Um, PX Chris says that is a Samsonite ca Canadian exclusive. So good luck with that. The blue one I, is. I, I, yeah, the blue one. Yeah, I, I believe six one zero three. Yeah, because the other one was available here in the United States. Yeah. Yeah, so this this one here Which is, is also six one zero three. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's what you got. That's what. Yeah, <laughs> I'm catching up. I'm 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 finally catching up to the the speed here. <laughs> From a U.S. seller. Wait, somebody said something about a U.S. seller. Uh, Falcon flag is basically just and it's expensive now. Oh, interesting. Fifty bucks. Yeah. Uh, checked mint. Uh, with on Bricklink for fifty bucks from the U.S. sellers. Yeah. So. They're kind of caught up at this point, the two flags. Just back on yeah. the flag debate real quick. <clears throat> but yeah, so, um, uh, reach out to Peter N. If you got one of those sets for sale, I'm sure he'd yeah. be interested. Um, and yeah, or if you see one, shoot him a message. <laughs> uh, no, uh, technically the battle dragon is listed as a black knight, but there's no dragon shield. There's no dragon torsos. There's just a dragon head on the front of this boat. Mm. And then their colors obviously would reflect the, the the black knights, but they come. It's one of the one offs that comes with a yellow falcon yeah. shield, which yeah. is weird. So yeah. I included it. No, that's a good inclusion, definitely, because we're kind of trying to just cover everything that had falcons in it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a fair point. Yeah, battle dragon. I mean, dragons in the name, so I, I would say it leans more heavily towards yeah black black knights um but it is bizarre that it's it's got it's got this falcon guy and you know i think there's another image i believe it's this one where it shows the falcon like holding the crossbow pointing it at the guy rowing like it's he's like hijacked the boat or something so yeah yeah i don't <clears throat> i don't think it's a black falcon's boat like you said but it is it is cool to to have a falcon in the in the set there like that. Well, yeah, it's an extra it's an extra shield either way. Yeah, and and it, it noteworthy that it's a black potentially a black knight set with no sigil or indication that it's Uh Rocks and Rocks and Forest Quiver says I'm pretty sure the black knights were a splinter group from the black falcons. See, that's what I was saying earlier in the chat or earlier in the video. <laughs> I think so. I mean, I I feel like that especially them being called black knights you know, at, at one point as well. So, yeah. you know, that, that group that called themselves the Black Knights within the Black Falcons probably just became the Black Knights. Fun little lore we could dig into, but... Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, sea, yeah, serpent. sea Serpent also came with uh, two, two Falcons. And that was this was released now in 1992. Mm -hmm. So this was much later than... You know, like the mm. 85 or 86 release of the Falcon's Fortress. I see. You know what I'm saying? So they just threw in some some yeah. Falcons just to treat <laughs> it us. Was, it, it was almost like they were like, here's two guys. Maybe there'll be some more Falcons. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> till, till 2000, uh, 2020. Because these are, those are the only two minifig. Those are the only two Falcons of the original generation that came with the gray legs with the black hips. Mm. And it was a nice look for them. It yeah, it's a little more subdued. Yeah, a little more, a, a little cleaner, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Caesar but is a fantastic set. It's got so much going on. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if I shields, still have it sitting out here or not. You know, I don't think I do. I think I put it away. Shields collecting, galore. Collecting too much dust. Yeah. 
yeah, I've had a, I, I've got multiple copies of this set, but the fact that it's just, it's such a small set to have five minifigs on it. Yeah. You know, besides being like one of the little castle packs, right? Which is yeah. just a mean, big pack. Uh, the sail, the flag, the print, you know, the printed, the printed flag in the back, all of the dragon shield, three dragon shields, and then two of the oh boy or the the taller ones clipped on the back, and then a falcon shield. So you're looking at just the amount. It's like a war chest of a set, and then you get oh, yeah. all the plumage on. So you have enough plumage to deck out a full helmet. Yeah. On the bow of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, and yeah, it, it comes is, a lot. One thing that you could note that is a little odd is that it has it's flying the colors of the falcons on the mast it is green and yellow so this could be a allied endeavor because in all the other and all the other black knights they were red and blue absolutely and i think that's a pretty that was, that was the knight stronghold black monarch's castle dungeon master's castle yeah. all of those had red and blue yeah, in the instructions, you actually put the Falcons on the boat. That's probably just because they didn't want too many figs floating in the instruction book somewhere. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's I think it's a worthy a worthy note to look at that there is the yellow and green of the Falcons flying above the the, true. the, 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 the dragon's shield, the, the dragon's sail right there. So something to think about could be a joint venture like you said they're so far removed at this point falcons were pretty much gone from the land so maybe they're just the falcons are more like a wandering ranger class right and they're just jumping on this boat for a ride they're not really a power anymore in this well in, at this in, in, the, in, in the in the release okay yeah you you really only see the falcons back and forth with the black knights Okay, they kind of they kind of stumble on each other and then they shift out completely. The original jousting knights was the lions versus the falcons. Then, I mean, and we're still still talking classic castle, right? Sure. Then you get the um, the other joust. What was it? Uh, I can't remember the damn name of it. The one with the bardings. Mm, um, royal was it royal joust or no? No, uh, no, no, no. Was it was the um, knights challenge. That's right. That was the lions versus the dragons, right? No falcon guys in that set at all. None. But here's okay. my thing. Yeah. Here's my thing. Okay, so they're they're. I like following along with this idea that they may have just been like a separate entity of the same, one and the same, right? However, the one set that I didn't mention in this was the Knight Stronghold, and the Knight Stronghold comes with. This blue and black catapult mm -hmm. right here. Yep. Okay. And the most notable Falcon Knight right here there is. with the visor, the blue shield, blue plume, mm -hmm. full body armor. It's the only Falcon Knight that came like this. With that visored helm. Yeah. And yeah. that was in the night. That was in the, um, that was in the, uh, the Knight Stronghold, which the Knight Stronghold was the Black Knights. Right. In that set, we see the Falcons attacking the knight stronghold mm -hmm. with the catapult and the knight. Otherwise, why would, why would you have a, a full, full horse, yeah. full cavalry knight, right? With a catapult sitting out the front door. Oh yeah. No, there's a couple soldiers too. Yeah. It's clearly a battle going on uh, as far as I could tell. Um, that could be, that could be, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like, we got to remember during all of this stuff, like, first of all, it's us just talking about Lego sets that Lego sometimes didn't even know what they were naming them. So there is that to be said, right? <laughs> so, so well, we deduce these different pieces of lore and try to decide what's going on. You got to remember that Lego themselves was where they seem to have been doing it as thing in real time, too. So mm -hmm. um, that being said, though, like, yeah, I think we're talking about timelines here. So a lot of people in the comments, I can't pull up all these. These are great comments, but a lot of people are talking about different time frames for these things to happen yeah we're talking about a nice long period of of medieval conflict so during any european medieval conflicts you had allies you had times of peace and times of war right so you had civil wars and factions splitting off of other factions so i think this perfectly depicts it like you just said like there were they were definitely fighting each other for a good chunk of time um mm -hmm. there was also clear you know conflicts with the the forestmen in a lot of those magazine pictures and stuff you see forestmen kind of sieging their castles um 
and then as well you got crusaders they, there was some conflict with the crusaders too so you got you got these guys kind of fighting everybody at one point but then you also have scenes with a falcon knight parked at the guarded inn yeah and you have uh scenes with the falcons hanging out with this dragon boat with the falcon colors on the sail so you have a you know, falcon shield at the armor shop exactly so there are these these kind of hints that there's yeah, times of peace or times of allied, you know, you know, allied factions throughout the Lego history, which makes Do it more fun. It makes what it, you will. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so lots of fun chat going on in the in the comments. I just thought I'd bring that up. Yeah, there's lots, lots to talk about for sure with these guys. Um, so moving on here, uh, this is what I call Gen 2. Uh the Kingdom's Joust came out in uh 2012, I believe. Yeah. And um, it's got that super awesome gnarly Black Falcon's shield. Yeah, I love that Hard, shield. Hardcore Black Falcon Knight here for sure. Yeah. He's fully printed print. I believe he's printed legs and printed armor. Um, it's also interesting. He's got his colors are black and green. So that green kind of came in dark green, but still green. Mm -hmm. You know, came in even to the later versions of this guy. Um, yeah. He's got green flags on his tent, black and green flag, and he's got a gr dark green feather in his helmet. So interesting there. Yeah, he's he's probably what I would say the other most noteworthy Falcon Knight that there is. He'd be yeah. num number one, maybe even because he's so unique. Maybe he uh, is the actual Black Knight that. Yeah, yeah. There's well that here. left I, I, that left the faction a long time ago. He could have sure. been just on the road, yeah. hitting up the hitting up the brothels and drinking. <laughs> right, and, and then showed fight. back up to the kingdom's joust. <laughs> like, yo, I'm back. I'm black I'm back, boys. Yeah. Well, uh, what's cool about this is so kind of off of that same idea. There's some evidence that the Black Falcon was a figure, like an actual name of somebody, mm -hmm. the Black Falcon, or no, also referred to as the Black Knight, right? Because there's the TV commercial where it says the Black Knight is doing whatever, and it shows a Falcon Knight. Um, you know this what what's cool about that is that yeah this like could be that guy right but it also is i don't know if you've seen um like the tv the 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 tv show like Ivanhoe or any really like even Robin Hood if you're going to look at a historical or not historical but a, like a, a a book read the story about the black knight right king richard yeah. returns the black knight coming to a joust right this unknown knight maybe coming in and 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 doing that it's i like that lego kind of went that direction with this to have that black knight appear at this joust like that so that's kind of fun too so um yeah yeah kind of cool so then moving into that's the only one we get if the set came with two shields like that yeah. one 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 was mounted and then the other one was mounted on like the board of like who was challenging who which is on one of the little tiny buildings um on the front of the box it's on the left side mm-hmm um, and that was it, right? Yeah. And then we move luckily, into uh, Gen 3. Yeah, luckily we got two shields from that. <laughs> yeah, well, for some reason, I think that was one of the ones that I went to uh, the Lego store, one of the Lego stores in Florida, and I bought like 200 of those shields. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah. And I sold okay. 100 of them. I sold 100 sure. of them, and then I kept 100 for myself. That's, that's nice, because, yeah, I yeah. might have three. I might have three max. I love that shield. We'll do it. We'll do a trade. Trade me one or two of those for what was the guy you don't have? Oh, hook iron hook. I'll trade you iron a couple hook. fields for iron hook. But uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll 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 make it happen. Um, BJ or uh, J. Uh, let's see. No, uh, J J B. Totally see these factions making treaties of eternal peace for six months. <laughs> I like that. Right. And then Chorange jumped in. Hey guys, good to have you, Chorange. Um, he's a longtime friend of the show. We had him on a, a, a while back last year, I believe, sometime. Got to talk mm -hmm. with him, so that was fun. Um, glad to have you tonight, man. But yeah, yeah. So here's this. This is the <laughs> the infamous Creator Castle. Not part of any faction. Clearly, it's got a Falcon Knight in there. Clearly, the yeah. new the new prints on these guys are, you know, it's clearly the Black Falcons. Yeah. Now, I don't know. We, we, we've we talked before. We didn't like the fact that it came with the silver helmets. That was wrong. It came yeah. with a pirate guy. That was wrong. 
yeah. there was sand inside the castle. That was wrong. A brick built brick dragon. Built. <laughs> that was wrong. Brick built chickens. <laughs> brick built chickens. <laughs> Actually, the, med the medieval the market has the overall built. build of it isn't bad though. It's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a nice build. Okay. A lot of things I would have changed about it. And yeah. then a lot of people, a lot of people kind of took the reins here and like bought three or four of these and built these massive, you know, castles that I, I mean actually look pretty good, to be honest. There's a there's a handful, yeah, that did two or three of these. I think there's even been that did four, which is getting kind of crazy. But yeah, two or three of these, you combine them and there's so many like rebrickable. You just type in this set, it's probably one of the most rebricked like sets yeah. in there. Like <laughs> Yeah, so there's tons of options. And and like at the end of the day, if you don't like that the banners were red and white, which now that we're looking at it kind of kind of is on par with some of the wonky stuff the, the Falcons were up to. <laughs> yeah, but this like, looks like this looks like the castle decorated for a joust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think there's also too much yellow in this castle. It's there's just way so too much, much yellow. I, I get the little like reference to the paneling, maybe on the gatehouse and maybe on the house and back, but even that's pushing it. But the little corner or the side area and then all of that on the tower, it's just too much for me. But that uh, little side area is the toilet, Jason. Yeah, that's right. Well, it yeah, so it's makes sense because it's a toilet looking build. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that True. part. I, oh, the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, on the side there, the tower. <laughs> Something, yeah, too that, need... something too that always bothers me about this was that there was one shield mounted in the center mm -hmm. and it doesn't stay straight because of the parts used to put it yep. there. A loose Technic pin or whatever. Yeah. How yeah. frustrating is that? Uh, pretty annoying. Yeah. It's just the guy that put of... this together should be fired. It gets kind of tilts. <laughs> it's probably you more than you could have used person. 10 other, you could have used 10 other bricks that would have done the same thing and it would have stayed put. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, any, yeah, there, there's many options to mount a shield like that without it spinning around. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, anyway, it's a black there's falcon, the, uh, right? Yes, yes, yeah, you got a couple black falcons. Um, yeah, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's cool that you got these, you know, and for a while there, it was this and the, the, the blacksmith shop, which I think we're going to talk about in just a second, that came with these falcon guys, and it was that was it for a long time, so yeah, yeah. These guys right here, yep, yep, and the uh, blacksmith coming out having having them falcons in there. Yeah, this was huge. This was, I mean, I remember when the leaked images popped out for this, and like they were just kind of blurred, but you could just kind of tell the color scheme of the yeah. guys, and everybody was losing their minds that these were the falcons were coming back. And yeah, I mean, I, I bought know, I bought maybe. two right off rip, man. I bought two right at right at the, right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, oh, Mirko, I wanted to point out, when we were looking at that creator castle, he says, <laughs> Eldorado Falcons. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> right. uh, Chorin says lots of good parts in that set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I assume he's talking again at, uh, about the uh, the creator castle, because we were just on that. Blacksmith, yes. Yeah, uh, Chorin mentions that as well. Um uh, Octavian ha have three, still uh, not... Uh, getting to buy more. Oh, still not re. Oh, still I still regret not getting to buy more. Sorry, can't read. Um, yeah, man, I've got three as well of that Falcon Cat or the the Creative <laughs> Castle. Yeah, I, I, it's still available, I believe. Yeah, I think I think weirdly, it is. Some weirdly enough, I don't, think, I, I don't think I've got another one of those. I think I only bought the one. I mean, with with the release of you know viking village the, the yeah. town square the castle now we're looking at like okay it's not the only it's not the only semi-affordable castle thing <laughs> like yeah now the, the, the viking, viking village three, the viking three in one i've got three of those mm, the the ship. Ship. Mm -hmm. and then i got two of the new viking villages that yeah. came out yeah still only got i've got two of the blacksmith one i mean some of the the secondaries are still in the box i mean i've, I've still got one of these in the box in mint yeah. condition Definitely. No, all of these were good to cop multiple copies of for sure. Um, I only got one of the blacksmith, but I got, yeah, I ended up with somehow I, I, I ended up with three of the creator castle. Um, I still, I need to get, I need to grab myself one of those darn 
uh, better hurry. Vi Viking villages, man. You don't have one of those yet? I haven't bought one yet. <laughs> Dang, man. I'm about, to take mine. I'm about to take mine off the shelf. It's been sitting here for too long. I keep uh, I keep forgetting like that's just there, and the price is so insanely good. <laughs> it is. It's extremely good, and it's a great build. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I can guarantee you, my buddy bought one, and he's gonna give both of them—not give them to me, but he's gonna hand them over to me to combine both because he's like it just doesn't quite add up for the scale because he wants it next to the the blacksmith and stuff, and kind of he wants a bigger scale Viking village. So I'll put I'll take two of them and take the parts and build him a a, a nicer. A nicer one the thing is you get two of those it's it's 260 right for two yeah which is what is the new town square isn't that around two, the same price 230 230 yeah so you could get two of the viking villages for roughly the price of the town square and you could build out a really nice viking did you get, fort. Did, you, did you get the town square no i haven't got anything yet Gosh. i'm still just dude you might I gotta, need to I gotta, sell your car, man, and get caught up. I'm just saying, like, I've actually been, <laughs> I've actually been selling Lego, but, uh, uh, yeah, selling off some Star Wars, you know. Selling oh off yeah, nobody Jurassic wants World. that. Nobody wants that crap. Well, luckily, a lot of people do. I just don't so much anymore. So, good thing for me, I can sell it pretty yeah, quick. <laughs> for sure. It's too bad you don't have one of those Star Wars Holy Grail sets to make like nah, two grand off of a thirty dollars set. I know, dude. No, I know. I, I, yeah, unfortunately not. Yeah. Some of those stupid, like the cloud city one with, yeah, you can get yeah, so much yeah. money for that. The cloud city one was what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly instantly in, in my brain. <laughs> I had but, that. Uh, yeah. What? I had that set. You had that? No. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Don't tell me that. I man. did. I had, I had no a lot way. of the classic star Wars sets. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's that's gotta hurt a little bit. It does. I gave I gave it away as part of a collection for like seven hundred bucks. Yeah, that's rough. That's a so yeah. Well, you know, you never know with this stuff. I know? bought two leather coats with it. There you go. That was what was more important to you at the time, and now you know we're back in it. So yeah, it is Laura it is. Yeah, yeah. That's all you can say, man. <laughs> he says, "I don't know, man. I'm still a much bigger fan of the classic stuff with." the tra ter terrain mo molding landscapes oh yeah the terrain a and uh, like in the catalogs oh yeah yeah yeah. uh as opposed to the new the new stuff we're looking at now yeah i i think the classic stuff still holds up oh yeah for i'm sure. still drawn to it more than some of these new ones the other big issue i find with the new castle stuff is it's so damn expensive like i get it like you know, if you're in the hobby, you should probably have some disposable income. It's not really, you know, it's it's an expensive hobby. People understand that. But, like, it is. you can't, like we were saying, the cheapest castle set really is $100. And it's a creator set. It's not really even fully castle. So, you know, it's it's 400 to 280 260 right? Like, all these pretty high price margins on these sets. So I mean, you have, to take, you have to take into consideration, though, Jason, when uh, the Medieval Village came out, it was a $200 set. No, it wasn't. It was that $100. Was, that was not $100. It, I, it was, dude. It's insane. It was $100. That is, that is totally I'm, inaccurate. I'm pulling it up right now. I, I remember buying God, it. I swear man, to God. This is the most expensive Lego set I've ever bought in my life. What was it called? Medieval Market? The, yeah, the Medieval Market Village. I'm pretty sure it was 200 I think we said this on the last stream or one before, and someone jumped in the comments and dropped a, yeah, that it was 100 Because I didn't, I, I was young enough to not really spend like $200 on a Lego set. I never would have done that at the time so that's why i think it was a hundred bucks 2009 i'm pulling it up here on not on amazon don't pull it up on amazon <laughs> that won't be accurate all right uh original price where are we come here brick set why isn't it showing me the original price here price It's on the side. People are now saying it was ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, brick set. R R R P is seventy one ninety nine in euros, I think, and ninety nine ninety nine in US. 
Current is now 360 new, 364 new, 332 used, which is, that's only $30 difference between a used and new set. That doesn't sound right at all to me. That's crazy to me. But those well, are I've, averages. I've got, I've got it up here in the box still. I'm well, hoping. yeah. So, so it's, so you're sitting on about <laughs> a 360, $400 set right there. Um, yeah, 100 bucks. That's insane. That's also like, but that here's here's my argument, if you will. Here's my point: is is that was the most expensive set of that line. You could buy the, yeah. the little Battle Boy for three ninety nine or whatever with his little armor stand. You could buy the Wizard. You could buy all these other sets during that time, right? That were seven ninety nine, ten ninety nine, fifty nine ninety nine. And then, if you really wanted to go all out castle, you could spend a hundred and ten on the castle and a hundred on the village, right, or something like that. Right now, all you can do is spend one to two hundred dollars on the castle or four hundred dollars on the castle, and that's it. Which is effectively keeping these castle sets out of the hands of kids, and only adults can get a hold of them. Well, kids these days are stupid anyway. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say it. I'm just I saying, did, I and I'm not afraid less, to say well, it. Well, maybe they maybe they'd be less stupid if they had Lego Castle to build. That's what I'm saying. Is like we need more kids to be building Lego Castle. Sure, I, sure, yeah, definitely. But, but you got you got to be able to take the phone out of their hand. Well, I, I agree, but kids are interested in castles. My son loves castle Lego stuff. He would buy castles, build castles, but you know, affording them is ridiculously impossible for anyone who's just trying to get a kid into it. There's nothing, there's not even a like introductory set. That's 40 bucks that you give a kid. That's got a castle themed anything. No, like, I know it's just not there for him. So I think it's a bummer. Anyway, Speaking of the $400 castle that included yeah. some Falcons. <laughs> here we go. Also very, very cool set. I think we kind of trashed it <laughs> along with the creator one when they first come out. I, think I did. Just... <laughs> I did trash it. I trashed it so much that I spent $1,200 on the set. <laughs> I have to make a was that your penance for potentially hurting the sales a little bit? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> no, it sold out, it was a top seller for them the first a, a year for sure. It was in the top yeah. like three three highest sold sets of that year. So they're not you, hurting. You still have to that. hold it in pretty high regard, though. If we're talking about the Falcons because of the barding, the Falcons yeah. first first officially branded sigiled barding comes in this mm -hmm. set. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, which then is it cool. Hit, then, it, then it hit the brick link, the uh, the the um, pab, mm -hmm. the brick, brick, right? Oh yeah. And then, yeah, and then everybody stacked up on them even more, mm -hmm. and then they were on they were on brick link there for a while, like maybe I don't know twenty twenty five bucks a piece. I think is what I what they were. Yeah, I think they're probably dropping a little bit now that enough people have got a hold of them, but. Um, yeah, when it first hit, yeah, they were pretty spendy. Just to get a hold of one. I think Lego was selling them for under ten from Bricklink, or not Bricklink. Sorry, Pick a Brick. I think they were more. Maybe, maybe they were twelve bucks. I can't remember. I got a couple of each, but uh, yeah, that 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 is true. That makes some history with those guys. Look at that. Isn't that that's really nice looking too? I think you had mentioned that. This was the better of the two bardings that came out on this set. Oh yeah, that red one is terrible for the lion I'm, because the the gold yeah. is so flat compared compared to the red. You can't mm -hmm. even see it. Yeah, they it have should have been yellow like the original. They, I agree. Um, I totally agree with that. I Lego has a bit of an issue with some of the prints and some of the way that the print adheres to certain colors right now. You know, because you're right. You, you know, you get something and it looks really nice in the image because it's like doctored up right on the box and then you get it and you pull the part out and you can't even see half the print detail because it's meshed in with the dark background of what they printed it on or whatever yeah. so it's that's cool. just a that's just a production issue that's that should not have that should not happen in a company with the amount the, the profit margins that they have they well they didn't have that they didn't have that problem when they put, took the red barding and printed the bright yellow on that's why all my all my lion knights have the classic barding i hate the new one yeah yeah no the classic barding is king for sure um let's see yeah so after our initial kind of gut reaction on this one there's a lot going for this castle um for sure and again I, I think a lot of people in the comments you know or how they were talking about how the the creator castle is a good parts pack this is also an incredible parts pack for any castle killer killer you know. parts pack 
and the amount of figs <laughs> it's really really impressive yeah it so really i bought is. the i bought the first one and i built it yeah because i wanted to see how it was built great build ugly when it's completed but a great build mm -hmm. right yeah yeah the second one i literally just pull i've been pulling parts out of it yeah just a i just like box. emptied all the bags into one tub and i'm just dig, <laughs> it's a dig through for new parts perfect i love it yeah 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 i well here, here's the funny thing i do have one of these somehow <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> so i was able to snag this on a black friday sale from them with using some vip points and actually got a hold of this because i couldn't let this one slide away but um yeah man uh i i think the most besides the falcon barding like you said uh, which is huge actually now that i'm thinking about it um i think the best call they made with falcons and if they continue to do some of these style of builds with maybe some large you know scale things whether it's cities or castles or whatever it is with with these old factions being represented in a new way this was the best move they could have done is switching them over from that that silver kind of silver or the pearl silver or pearl gray and giving them the black helmets that they ought to have um, yeah this really i really because, like the, because they didn't do that in the three in one or nope. the blacksmith shop nope no they didn't so I get, I get like, that's the color for kind of armor now. They're not going to give us a dark gray helmet or a gray helmet anymore. That's kind of a thing of the past. But the black is still legit. And for them, it works so well. So I'm really happy they switched them to the black uh, helmets there. So yeah, that's kinda, just something kinda, I was thinking about. It kind of just completes the faction. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I also want to, I think everyone in, you know, everyone in the castle community I think we all got to be pretty happy that that OG like little helmet with the three bars across the face is still in production. <laughs> yep. I, I never love loved helmet. See, I never loved that helmet I've until always more loved recently. That one. That's cool. I'm glad you always loved it. It looking at it now, it really has a lot of If you look if you look you at know. a lot of the um if you look at a lot of the crests like family crest names yes of all over europe that yes. helmet is featured in that artwork yep. most of the time absolutely no and so yeah i've grown to absolutely love this helmet i'm really happy it's still being produced and i'm hoping if we still continue the trend that we have been over the last couple of years with where lego castles kind of floating we may get to see it in black again that'd be really cool so we'll, we'll see well i mean i've got a i've got a 30 of them in black Oh yeah, so sure. I got like yeah, I've probably got around that in black, and probably another twenty or thirty in in dark gray. Like uh, it, it's not a, a rare helmet, but I'd like to. You know, it's still nice to see it reproduced in black, and maybe get another you know fifty or sixty. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, Jose uh, says, "What do we got? A uh, terrible magisto." Yeah, what do we call him? Fake gisto. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the fake like Gisto. That, that I was mean, the biggest. We're, we're not we're not here to rag on the Lion Knights Castle again. No, 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 I no. feel like we've done that for several videos. This is more <laughs> of a contribute to the uh, the Falcons returning yet again in the yeah. latest the latest castle set. Now, the Market Village or the Town Square or whatever the new one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no Falcon, new Wolf Pack. Yeah, and that, that little... cool purple guy with the the money the the, the, the tax man. We're yeah, tax man, the IRS, Castle IRS <laughs> agent. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm a little concerned that Falcons didn't show up in that because it would have been very easy to put one in, or even have his a Falcon shield hanging in the shield makers. Yeah, um, I mean, I think, I think, I think we're, I think we're done seeing the Falcons for a minute uh, because of the uh, what was it, the the Bricklink designer. Yeah, castle that oh, came out and it sure. had falcons in it as well yeah um, so beyond that i don't think we're gonna see much more of the falcons now I'm, i have no idea what we're gonna see next if at yeah. anything at all yeah yeah that's fair i think we might see more castle guys kind of jump into the cmf lines maybe some because we got the reboot of basil in that one and stuff so we, we might see a little bit of that but in my I'd head i think that I think that the Lion Knight, when they decided to do the Lion Knight's castle, they had to put a GWP with it. So they included the Forceman, right? Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. they, in the back of their head, they had the town square in mind. I think you're right. 
and, but and I but watched the video from that. I don't I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so they've put themselves in a tricky position with um with the reproduction of these old castle sets, right? Where they're re-releasing factions that came out back in the day. Yeah. And th- it's 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 kind of tricky because it's like, are you going to keep... And the two gift with purchases, right? You got the gift with purchase, you got this, which is kind of a remake of the Lion Knight's Castle, sort of not... It's it's a little different. But uh, yeah, the Forestmen. Um, and... Uh, I think we got a little bit of an issue. It's like, are you going to keep reproducing or recreating these old Lego sets with these Black old Knights factions? Are, yeah. Black Knights are next. And right. Wolf right. Ex- exactly. Are you going to do that? I don't know how sustainable that is. Are you going to drop it down to smaller sets like Guarded In or or bring those sets up into a bigger part count? Or are we going to be doing new sets with these old factions? That doesn't seem like something they're going to really do. It just doesn't seem... Right, like, oh, you're going to start a whole new Crusader line or a whole new line of sets for the Falcons in this new version of Falcon. I, I just don't see them doing that. So then the question is, are you going to just kind of let it die out and let Castle die with it? Or are you going to reintroduce or introduce new factions with new sets in a price well, of right? I mean, they'll have, to, like, they'll have to do something, you know? Yeah, because they've kind of it almost feels like they're kind of painting themselves into a corner. As much as I love all of these old Castle factions coming back to life. Oh yeah, I just don't know that we're going to see them giving the giving a whole new wave of castle sets to the fa- the Falcons or, or the Black Knights. I, I just don't know that that's going to happen. Yeah, and I don't know how sustainable it is to keep recreating old ones. I don't know. We'll see though. It's a it's definitely an interesting conversation. Um, but yeah, yeah sure. that was a that was the Black Falcons. That's a it's a fun a fun faction. I yeah. say it's probably one of the most loved castle factions of all time. For it only having um, six. Set yeah, it's, in its original series, yeah. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty powerful. You know, uh, Jordan from Lego Masters. I mean, he was actually technically he's from Let's Talk About Lego before. Yeah, LEGO he's Masters, he's so just Jordan. He's just Brickster. Okay, he's not he's, from he's, Lego Masters. <laughs> I knew him before he was on Lego Masters. <laughs> I like saying that to like give us more credit, but no. Uh, <laughs> saying Jordan. Lego Masters on this show does not give us any more credit. Okay, that's actually probably fair. Most of the people here watching are probably like, get out of here with that. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, what was I going to say, though? Uh, he, that's one of his favorite factions. I think it might be his favorite faction, you know. Um, and it's a huge faction favorite for for tons of Castle fans. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it's really up there. I, I've always yeah. kind of gone for the underdogs, right? Wolf Pack, Dark Forest, those are kind of my favorites. But, like, Falcons is huge uh, for for being just one of the most loved factions of all time. So, sure. um yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna. There's so many. Sorry, guys. I, I saw Laura Mipsum in here. Uh, uh, he said he missed the castle when it came out for yeah, two hundred and ninety nine. Uh, at some point, yes, that was the Black Friday sale. They took a hundred bucks off of it, which is pretty substantial. Um, so many great comments. I, I was able to glance over and kind of read through some of the conversation going on in the in the corner there, uh, off and on. So I thank you guys for dropping your comments. Um, Unfortunately, obviously, we can't get to everybody's and still There's, keep it yeah, in an hour. No <laughs> like, we'd, we'd be we'd be here for two or three hours if we talked about everything every, or read every comment. So but thank you, thank you for yes. joining us and giving us lending your ear to mm-hmm. poison you with our Lego ideas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give you the most random lore and sort of <laughs> accurate kind of. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so <laughs> next week, next week is going to be Explorians. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have, yeah, we have not, we have not talked about that yet at all. I don't think ever. Never. We've never talked about it. So we're going to jump into that next week. Um, that should be a awesome. fun episode to talk about. Um, it's kind of interesting. I don't want, I don't want to linger, uh, cause my son is waiting for me. For sure. He's very, yeah. he's very, he's very little. He's a very little guy. Yeah. I know, yeah. um, <laughs> but it's it's interesting to see the news of you know new space GWPs coming out. Mm. There's a new space GWP. It's called uh, Space Diner, and it's supposed oh, to come out with the orange and yellow classic space guys. Oh, I haven't even seen that yet. Well, I haven't seen any images either. But I'm, this is just like rumored okay. to be coming out yeah. soon, right? Um, you know, so that, that that's fun. And uh, then in additional news, there's going to be a Lord of the Rings GWP that is only going to come with the Baradur set June 1st. 
So like prepare <laughs> yourself you got- for a five hundred dollar purchase in a month and a half. Cash out that 401k, boys. Come come to the Let's Talk About Lego for all your financial help. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Jose, let's not also explore Animal Crossing, okay? <laughs> Dude, this guy, off he, the list. He, he wants to get e- exiled real quick here. <laughs> he does. I mean, I'll give it credit. Some of the parts are kind of interesting. Yeah, but yeah, But those, yeah. those characters are weird, dude. Dude, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, we're not going to keep you. You got to get to your son. Uh, yeah. You got your family routine going, and that's totally awesome. Uh, so no worries there. We, Yes, Andrew, we're going to talk about the original Ninja line, not Ninjago. It's all coming, guys. Don't worry. We're yeah. going to be here. We're going to make it happen. So next uh, week, uh, Explorians, that's going to be awesome. Really excited <laughs> yeah. about that. I think, so, I think what we'll do is we'll do Explorians, and then then we'll jump back into some uh, another year or two of Classic Town. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then we'll yeah. probably jump in, maybe hit some of that the the classic ninja stuff. Sure, yeah. And then we'll be back into pirates again, because there's still a lot of pirate to talk about. And then we'll be back in back in rotation, back in castle, some some format. Perfect. A lot of fun stuff Always coming. Gotta, Always got to get back to castle. Yeah, sounds good. Um, well, that's been another episode of Let's Talk About Lego, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Drop a yeah. like if you enjoyed. Drop a follow. Uh, welcome, everybody, from last week jumping in to follow Brick Monarch. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be back next week. So have a good night, guys. Uh, yeah, good night. Have a good night, everyone. All right.